So here I have square root of 2 divided by 7 plus 3 divided by square root of 5. Um, we have two fractions. To add two fractions, to add or subtract two fractions, we have to have common denominators. denominators. These do not have common denominators, right? So therefore, we need to obtain common denominators. And to obtain common denominators, we need to multiply by the, uh, well, we need to multiply, sorry. We need to determine the LCD and then multiply our values that will provide us with our LCD. So Savannah, please pay attention as I'm going over this. Savannah, turn around. I want you to be listening to this, not talking across from you. So to do that, we need to determine the LCD. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when we're looking at factors of like 3 and 4, we can easily just add 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and then 4, 4, 8, 12, and say, oh, the LCD is 12. But when you have something like 7 and square root of 5, the LCD is not really going to be as apparent, right? So the easiest way to determine the LCD is just to multiply our two denominators, which would be 7 square root of 5. So if I already have 7 and I need to get an LCD of square root of 5, that means I need to multiply by the square root of 5 on the top and bottom. And that's OK because I'm just producing equivalent fractions, right? As long as I multiply by the same thing, that's OK. Then over here, I need to multiply by 7 times over 7. So now I multiply. Square root of 5 times square root of 2 is square root of 10. Plus 3 times 7 is 21. Divided by 7 square root of 5, which is going to be um, 7 square root of 5. All right, so that would be your final answer. The problem, though, is again, we have a square root of, we have square root of 5 in the denominator, right? So to get rid of that, we need to rationalize the denominator. That means I need to multiply by the square root of 5 on the top and the bottom. Now, multiplying the bottom is not a problem because we just have a monomial. However, Taylor, when we look up in the numerator, we see that we do not have a monomial. We have a binomial, meaning we need to make sure we put this in parentheses. So when I multiply the square root of 5, I need to multiply the square root of 5 times both terms. So therefore, square root of 5 times square root of 10 is the square root of 50 plus 21 times square root of 5. Obviously, square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is just going to be square root of 5 times 5, which is 25. And the square root of 25 is 5 times 7 is 35. Then the last thing we want to do is simplify the square root of 50. So Zach, we know that the square root of 50, 25, goes in the square root of 50, which is so we can rewrite this as, so I could rewrite 50. I'll just do it over here. Square root of 25 times 2, which is 5 times square root of 2. So my final answer is 5 times the square root of 2 plus 21 times the square root of 5 all over 35. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, hello, Jessica. We see that our two radicals, our two radicals are not the same, right? So we, can we add or subtract them? Can we add or subtract two radicals that are not the same? No, we cannot.